For the second consecutive week, the Bears go on the road to face a nationally ranked team and play well, but not good enough to come away with a victory as USC prevails over the Bears. The final score was 27 to 9. A lot of good things for the Bears, especially in the third quarter. They trailed 17 to 3 at the half. But in that third period, the Bears marched down the field a couple of times, got into scoring position, but I had to settle for field goals. And then on another time, ended up throwing a very costly interception. USC then turned that into points, and USC was able to control the clock and the game the rest of the contest. USC beating Cal for the ninth consecutive time as the Bears now regroup and head home to take on Arizona State. After the contest, we talked to the head coach Jeff Tedford and some of the players, including kicker Vince Diamato, who had three field goals after missing three last week against Ohio State. We came out strong in the third quarter. Offensively, we went up and down the field pretty much, and defense got them off the field. And uh, we got down the red zone and, and settled for two field goals and then had an interception down there. But uh, there were some plays to be made. You know, if we capitalize down there, you know, then it's a, it's a different story, but we didn't, and that's where we need to improve. Got to give SC credit. You know, they put a lot of pressure on Zach today with the pass rush, and so he was under duress a lot today, and, uh, you know, so we have some improvement there to do. My teammates and my coaches were very supportive, so uh, I know that I had them on my back, and I just, uh, I didn't want to disappoint them. Unfortunately, that kick didn't go out the way I liked it, but I responded well, and I and they got nine points on the board. We definitely were in the game. Uh, so the end, we were definitely had many chances to win. Uh, we just couldn't capitalize from, for whatever reason. But uh, we just have to go look at film and see why we didn't capitalize and make sure it never happens again. Just I planted my feet and I got up pretty. I got up pretty well. Yeah, we were just going out there doing what we can and just playing hard. And uh, we just got to be able to stop the run a little bit more and make them more dimensional because they was able to throw the ball in, run the ball, and that hurt us a lot in the game. With USC is is limit the explosion plays. You know they had one in the run game uh, where we just didn't tackle, and uh, but for the most part kept those guys in check. Where you know they made their plays, but they weren't you know 60-yard touchdown plays. But uh, they're a tough group to stop. You know when, when you can't just try to stop one phase of it because they run the ball well. You know they're they're a balanced football team, and and so uh, you know it's they're a difficult team to defend. From here on out, we're going to be facing good teams. So we have to, whatever we have drawn up, we have to make sure we execute and really just focus on this week. Fight through it. And you know, we're going through a lot of adversity right now. So we just got to pick our heads up and keep playing. You know, we've been on the road against a couple of very good teams, and uh, we've had opportunities. And I know our team will see that and understand that. And uh, But, you know, there's, there's no weeks off in the Pac 12. I mean, every week's a battle. And you know, you got to take advantage of opportunities. and But I have confidence that the mindset will be right heading into next week, and we'll go out and compete and play a hard game. So the Bears now have to regroup. their one and three, but their conference home opener this week as they face Arizona State. The Sun Devils have been a good tonic for the Bears over the years under head coach Jeff Tedford. The Bears have won four in a row, eight of the last nine against the Sun Devils. Reporting for the Coliseum in Los Angeles, I'm Todd McKim for CalBears.com.